Hey everybody, it's John Ziemba, and what I want to show you today is how to use command for transaction management. We're going to start off in the opportunity section today. So we can find that by clicking on the red KW in the top left hand corner and then clicking on opportunities. And this will take us to our sales pipeline view. Okay. Once we're in our sales pipeline view, I just want to give you a demonstration of how it works. If I've created an opportunity and added that added um, a, uh, an opportunity it starts out in my sales pipeline and as I move it along my sales pipeline what you will notice is that there are checklist items here so in this case has my quarterly call plan and then once they go to a nurture it has my monthly call plan and as they go to hot I'm going to add them to my weekly call plan okay so understand that we can add those checklist items what what I'm actually going to do is you can pick up the cards and I'm actually going to move it to the active phase here because it becomes a little bit easier to see some of the opportunities we have here. So I have an opportunity here and what I'll notice is that I have 12, in this case, I'm just move this one up. I have 12 checklist items here that I have to do. So after I get a listing, these are the things that I need to do and I can simply check them off, okay? I can also set due dates for that particular item and if I, I can either edit or delete that specific option if it's not relevant to this particular transaction. So I can set a due date of whenever I want it to be and then when it happens is it will show up in my task list as items that need to be done. Now when I come over to my tasks I should notice that the con it's always on by default on the contact tasks. Well I notice that I have opportunity tasks and that's what I want to click on. So when I click on opportunity tasks, I will see all the tasks that are past due or due today. Um, okay, if I want to look at kind of what's out in the future, I can choose one of the other options like the next seven days and it will show me if I have anything uh, scheduled for the next seven days. Sometimes I find that it doesn't actually show out the next seven days for um, opportunity tasks. Going back to here, I want to show you how to edit this. What we have is the option at any time that we're in this, in, in our phases, these are called phases here, any time that we're in this view, in our board view, um, we have the option up here to click edit stages. When we click edit stages, we will have the option to, we can move the stages as needed. We can also edit the stage by changing the stage name and changing the probability. The probability is used to forecast your probable income in our sales pipeline view. Um, note that you might have a legacy on yours. This is for importing um, old dot loop files there. Um, if you need to add the checklist items here, or you want to add if you're on zero and you want to add them, you just simply come over to the checklist option and you, you can come here and you can add checklist items. Now, you want to be very careful about this. So when I click add items, so I want to click add them, add item, I'm going to say set reminder for checklist okay and then I click save here I want to make sure that I click save again otherwise if I don't it's not going to update that uh, particular option so you have to do that double save option and we'll notice is that as we move the person through what we'll notice is that the, the transactions or the uh, tasks that they have to do will um, show up here and I can check them off. If I need to add a one-off task, I can also do that right here. And this is just for this particular opportunity. It doesn't go to my list and I can uh, set a due date. If you're on a team, you have the ability of signing these specific tasks to um, team members. What you'll see an option here to, uh, which I can't show, that, that will allow you to choose the team members that you need to do that. So again, in order to edit stages, and edit the checklist, we come over to the top right hand corner, we can choose um, to edit and or add items from here. We can also edit the stage name and the probability. And if we need to delete it, we can come over here and delete it. So it's a very simple way to use command for transaction management.